understand the beginning, where we all started, where we've come from has shaped where we are today. Curiosity of what we are about to go through. Put the best foot forward every single weekend and be exuberant. Being someone that can lead and others can follow. And each step in the beginning especially, it's really flowing through everything, being able to make everything really look seamless. Leading emotion, drawing something out of the, out of the skies. Like a longing feeling of like, oh, we've discovered something, there's something approaching, there's something out there. We want to explore more of this overall thematic of To The Stars. After you walk off the floor, you have to feel like there is nothing more you could have done for that performance and then for the season, you know, after Dayton is over. We're taking our uh, section pictures right now. Um, the quad line got the wolves on. And then it's gonna be a great day today, so yeah. The show does start with some bell sets and kind of some call and response between bell sets and snare drums. There's like a piano solo that joins in and it's a beautiful WC piece um, that, we're, that is arranged into the show. front and the back kind of have to work together to like put together this beautiful WC piece. Movement one actually has this concept of rubato throughout all of it, um, which basically means that there's no strict tempo. In the beginning of the movement where it's a lot of just uh, from the front ensemble um, and a lot of space, it's supposed to be a lot of wonderment. <laughs> see wonderment in a lot of our faces and if you look at the vibe section when they're playing on the bells they're very much in wonderment when they look at their mallet. A rubato piece is more like lyrical and very emotional and there's definitely like push and pull in tempo. The best part about our movement one is that 
that rubato feeling and that push and pull of tempos. There's so many tempo changes within like even the first like 20 seconds. And we do these micro dynamics, very, very tiny. Na, 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 na. So Noah starts his solo first that I really get the momentum for mine. Well, I'm way across the floor from the piano player, so uh, it's a little, just thinking a little ahead of the tempo. In the beginning, it's all about the flow and just completely just letting the wonder and the curiosity take you there. And each step in the beginning, especially, it's really flowing through everything, being able to make everything really look seamless. But it's also helping pull that focus into where the soloists are, are on the floor. Very cool. I love the use of the zill bells. It's, it creates more of an environment that represents the night sky with like shimmering and kind of high frequency sounds. We have to really learn how to work around them, but also work with them and breathe with their music. We then have a big battery moment. For the rest of the battery is visually helping pull that attention to us. slowly turns minor and then it slowly fades into um, the, that abyss section is what we were talking about. So It's definitely something different that we're kind of doing that I haven't seen in any of the ensembles I've been in before. 